Hi, I'm Chad Capper. I'm the brand manager and content creator at Red Cat Holdings. I'm not a hired resource. I'm an actual shareholder with the company. It's my desire to create good content from Red Cat to you, the shareholder, so you can understand what our roadmap is, what our current developments are, and where we're going. This is a way to have a conversation with our shareholders. And what we're gonna cover in this episode is our newest acquisition, Teal Drones. Teal is proud to offer the Golden Eagle as a rugged, powerful platform. Designed and manufactured in the USA to ensure the highest level of security and performance. Learn more at tealdrones.com. So how's, how's the Teal deal coming? Moving along pretty good. I think we're close. We're uh, about to go into the definitive agreement. So we need to learn everything we can about Teal right now as quickly as we can. I had a call with Jeff Thompson, our CEO, to discuss the Teal acquisition. Teal is one of the only few companies on Earth with a drone approved for the U.S. military. So it's really important that we get this right. They've got a full working drone platform that they've been really focusing on uh, military. They've done really well. They got, uh, I think they call it Blue SUAS is the proper term. Uh, so like one of five approved to sell to the Pentagon and the DOD. And now with uh, you know Congress passing bills not to use Chinese manufactured drones for any, any part of the government, they just have such a huge revenue opportunity across the US. So with our software platform and what they already have hardware enabled, I mean, we've got a really good combination there. Yeah, you take all the, soft, the software stack from Spectrasonics, the software stack from Dronebox, uh, that thing's a beast, you, you, you know, you're not gonna break it. And wouldn't this be a great thing to capture with our audience? It would be great if you could get out there next Monday. Interview George, uh, see the people out there, meet some of the team. Okay, I'm recording everything. I'm even recording this. Oh, great, <laughs> wonderful. I, I, I probably should have brushed my teeth a little better then. George is the CEO of Teal. He and I actually go way back. Before we even met, George shared with me that he was a huge fan of flight tests. That was my first YouTube brand that I started back in 2010. In 2017, George brought me in to help refine the Teal brand and launch one of their first products. I've been trying to build the perfect drone and platform for the last six years and think we've never been closer to that original vision as we are now with Golden Eagle. It has incredible autonomous capability. It's fully modular, military grade, and gives operators almost superhuman capabilities to achieve their mission and use cases almost effortlessly. Teal had to design Golden Eagle to meet the US Army's performance specification, which was a really rigorous set of requirements that we had to meet. Part of that was full cybersecurity, long flight time and range, fully encrypted communication and video transmission, uh, portable morphology with folding arms, modular architecture where the arms are actually able to plug out and back in if they break, 4K and thermal imaging for heat signatures on a stabilized gimbal, and ruggedized to be able to withstand any operating environment, whether it's 110 degrees or minus 32 degrees or raining or in a dust storm, this thing will just work. What would it actually take to make consumer drones fully mainstream and be able to be adopted in the millions? Technology has to reach an inflection point where it can become so easy to use, it becomes impossible to crash, and at the same time offers you more benefit than just taking photos and videos. What can it actually do for people that keeps them coming back and that adds value to their lives? So it is, there is 
a phased approach that has to always happen. I've always thought that one of the bigger inflection points technologically will be autonomy, where drones become really easy to fly and really hard to crash, and intelligent enough where, as we think about the enterprise and, and government markets, you know, a couple years ago it took three people to fly a single drone. You had the pilot, a camera operator, a spotter. Today it's simplified a little bit more, where you only have one operator per system. But I think where value will exponentially be derived moving forward is when the next inflection point is hit, where a single operator can fly many drones at once that are intelligently navigating their environment, performing coordinated tasks and missions together, and enabling new use cases that have never before been possible. The reason I'm thinking about it from a government perspective first is that a lot of the technologies that consumers have today I would argue most of them started in the government. I think there's an opportunity to become an industry leader in this space, especially now with our partnership with Red Cat, in which we're bringing together the best minds and technologies in the country and around the world to build a critical mass. We've been working on all these different acquisitions and um, the ones that I thought were going to be hard were actually went pretty smoothly. My best relationship has been with Teal, with George specifically. I really thought this was going to be the, I don't want to say easy one, none of this is easy, but I just, I thought, um, I thought it was going to happen. and. Um, I can't even go into the details, but um, Okay, bottom line is the teal acquisition isn't happening um, and, and to be quite honest, I don't I don't know exactly who it up, but we we were counting on this. It was, it's a pretty strategic move. Um, someone else gets them and, you know, then our, our resource is now not part of our company. It's they're working against us in a sense. And um, that sucks. It just, it really sucks. Um, that's, I don't know, that's all I have to, to report. Um, this video probably won't even get used. Um, I'm just trying to document everything. Our board wanted to first explore uh, the European drone company merger. Uh, as the deal progressed, we found out that they weren't being fully transparent about their stage and, and progress and, and numbers, uh, which started to put into question the, the deal structure. At the same time, just saw the, the Red Cat is uplisted onto the NASDAQ. Uh, I saw the, the Skype Sonic merger, and I think that uh, there's a stronger opportunity here to, to build something really big and special. Uh, so I, I've got the board on board and have their approval and Red Cat is the direction we're gonna go. I cannot tell you, I, I was definitely reserved during that phone call. I cannot tell you how excited I am that we're moving forward with this. Um, the Teal acquisition really does complete the puzzle more than I can uh, express. I saw a really interesting opportunity to pursue a partnership with Red Cat and knowing Chad and having that relationship with him, I think was a big part of starting that conversation and diving deeper into it and realizing that this could be really something big. Thanks for watching the first episode of Red Cat Revealed. Just to be clear, we did sign the definitive agreement with Teal and things are moving forward as we speak. If you like content like this, make sure you subscribe 
hit the like button, and give us a comment. Tell us what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and what you want to see in the future. We're going to keep producing content like this to be able to inform you, the shareholders, in a unique and original way. Until next time, I'll see you later.